Hey, Ian here at Dab Beaver Travel Supplies. We're here at one of our main sites for uh, snaring coyotes. We're going to go show you what to do, uh, how we set up, how we set up in cattails and different sets like that. So we'll go down and see what we have. Here we are. Uh, this is our bait. It's just on the bottom of a slough here, uh, in a little valley kind of thing. Uh, lots of cattails around, trees further that way, trees further that way. But uh, all it is here is just guts from our uh, deer that we got this fall, a few heads and other things like that. So we'll go down and check some of the snares we made here. Just put them out yesterday, so this will be our first check. Here we go. Here's our first two sets uh, I made yesterday. A round power snare here and a rat one down there. This is a nice natural trail that they run down, all tied off to the trees, the willows. Uh, I've baited here a few years now, so I kind of know the trails they've had in the past, so that's why I basically set up in the same places. We'll go check the other ones. Set here. Uh, this, is, this is on a hill going down off the beaver bank, off the beaver dam. Uh, it's lower kind of on this end because when he's going down the hill, he's got his head down. When the coyote is coming up the hill, he normally has his head up. So from that side, it's a little higher. So that's why this is it, it's like that. Um, it's just stuck in the snow. So it's an easy set there. Put it in the snowbank and have it set like that. Here's another set again, nice cattails. Uh, it's hard to tie off in some of these because there's not a good place, but there is some willows right beside it, so that's where we got this one tied off. There's another set here. Over the beaver dam again, just propped up in the snow, just right on the trail. Here's another set in the cattails again, as well. Um, tied off to some willow trees in the side there. Uh, it's just a little easier. Sometimes, if they're a little harder to see, you gotta put some flagging tape up. That way, it's easier to find them later on. Sometimes these cattails are really nice. You got nice trails going through here, but you find it's just a hard place to set, tie off a ram. So what I normally do is I'll just go closer to the shore and then you'll find more places to tie off, more willows, more logs sticking out of the ice, stuff like that. So let's follow me. Set still on the cattails, but I was able to tie off to this one little branch sticking out of the ice here. That's my tie off. So sometimes you gotta look for those things, that's where you tie off. If not, just go another 10 yards and you're into the bank, more trees to tie off on. Looks like we have something over there, so we're gonna have to sneak around this ram and uh, check it out. So, here's that example of the ram. Nice trails in the cattails, but you just can't find the right place to tie off. 
So we tie it off right where the water comes in, or uh, where the bank starts, I mean. There's more place to tie off, and we have a coyote. It's a nice color. It's not very dark. It's lighter. He's not the biggest one. He's probably uh, this year's pup, but he's still a coyote. We'll get him out of the ram and see what we could, what he looks like. We're going to reset this ram. We got the coyote out of it. Um, there's a number of ways to do this. One, you can put the ram down, put your foot on it, make sure the hook is up. Bring this end over. And get the hook on. So that's how we'll do this one. I'll show you how I do the other ones after. Take a snare. I got them pre-wired uh, to make it easier. I do that at home. Get it back on. Do a turn. Now it's ready to fire. Put my ram lock back on. Just for safety. That's basically where we have it. Quick and easy, takes 30 seconds to reset a ram. Uh, set right on back on the same trail, there's hardly any disturbance. So we'll carry on to the next one. You can hear the coyotes just over the next ridge making some noise. Probably know there's bait here now so they're getting all excited ready to come so you can see all the tracks here i was through here yesterday with the sleigh all these tracks are over top they were out here uh checking it out so we should have a few more coyotes in the next few days coming in here so here's a nice example of how the I have to be coming into the cattails. Nice and easy spots to snare in. All you gotta do is make sure you find a good tie off and, and you're good to go. Here's another one. Nice little area where they can get through. Again, a good tie off spot, middle of the slough. As long as the tree is solid, anchor to it. So here's a nice trail, it's right through the middle of the slough, cattails everywhere, and there's really no place to tie off, but it's such a nice trail, you hate to avoid it. So I'll show you how I uh, do a set with uh, with no uh, real anchor around. This is where I want to set up, nice narrowed area, but like you can see, there's no, no place to anchor. So we're just gonna drill a hole in the ice. Try that for now. Stick this guy in here. Oh, 
pull it out. Make sure it's still good. Find my hook that I lost in the snow. Found my hook that I lost in the snow. Put it back on. Go back to that hole. Found it in. Now it's, it's in the ice, it's further down, it's not going to come out. It's going to freeze in here in the next hour or so. But I always like to leave about six inches sticking up. That way if you come back and you want to try to pull it out, at least you got some place to hammer it down. If it's right down on the ice, you can't hammer it down anymore to break it. So this way it gives you a chance to get it out. Now, if you can't get it out, you're going to have to leave that rebar in until spring. It's going to sit at the bottom of the slough you'll never find it so we'll give it a whirl and uh we'll set one up here There we go, easy as that. Anchored in the middle of nowhere. All set nice. Just remember to take your ram lock off before you walk away. Hopefully tomorrow we have a pilot here. Our last two sets here. I got them right here going around this beaver house. Uh, obviously I didn't catch anything here, but uh, they're still set up on good trails. Like I said, this is only the first day after having the bait out here. So uh, we got a whole another couple weeks of good, good pressure to uh, get some more coyotes.